Good day, mates. My name is Mr. McGillicuddy, Cuddy, and welcome on the back one. Back once again to my channel. So today, well, once again, we're returning to Five Mr. Freddy's Security Breach Ruin. So in our last video, we cleared the bowling alley after trying to get around those little music men, which were absolutely pain. And now it seems we ended up in a uh, Phantom Blasts. Phantom Blasters. Didn't like that place before, still don't like it. Ah, oh, just Phantom Blasts. Okay then, I'll just shut up. So anyway... Uh, yeah, continue from the most recent save. Oh! Uh, wrong game! <laughs> Sorry, I was checking something on my phone. Yeah, we know Gregory's trapped in the piece of blacks. Yeah, this is from the one from Princess Quest, so down here we go. Okay, so one other nightmare is going to be waiting for us because I think Rox is still back in the back in the raceway. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Ugh. Okay, I forgot I can sprint this vent. Uh, I bet those security notes are all the way down there. Yep. I want to try to jump there. Anyway, if you hear that my voice is a bit loud, then that's because I had the microphone a bit closer to me. I had to turn it down, but uh, still, it gets pretty loud. Until I find a, until I can get a hook up to my computer, I can't I probably adjust it. So apologies for that. Why does it have Shreddy's head with a, well, bare head with a question mark on it? Oh, jeez. One moment, please, guys. Sorry about that. A lot of charging on my laptops that really needs replacing. But I don't forget, we'll all just have the money to do so. Oh, hello. Glam Freddy. Wait, was that Freddy's voice we heard? But oh, that can't be. I'm pretty sure Freddy left Gregory. Oh, jeez, we can't take the mask off. Yeah, that's Freddy we're hearing. I just don't know who's going to be attacking us, given the fact that, uh... Ugh. Yeah. Foxy one spot, great, just what I always wanted. Not really. Come on, come on, come on. Where's that note? Where's that note? Here it is. Oh, jeez, come on. Yep, security breeze. Get the fuck out of here. Get the zombie. 
God almighty. Wait, is that... Is that Freddy Bonnie? Freddy! Freddy? Are you okay? But I thought he was with Gregory. What the heck? Run, run. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Freddy's headless, Freddy's headless, Freddy's headless. Shut up, phone. Missing his head. There's the inhibitor. Damn it. Oh, I an act. Oh, shut up. Put it on silence. Just probably stop doing that. Okay, what the heck was I meant to do? There's the inhibitor. Am I supposed to hide in the corner? I think so. Yes, it doesn't have a head so it can't see me. What the? It's gone! Oh no, not one of you, little sod! And of course he's playing the pizzeria theme. That's it, come on, go, 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 go! Yeah, get out of here, you little sod! One of the reasons I hate going for events. And why is the music still playing? Is somebody still trying to chase us? Okay, it stopped. Okay, so. I think this pretty much confirms that the, this is the ending where where Gregory rescued Fr Vanessa because because uh, there's a couple of, couple of hints that point towards that one that that one's a cannon Annie nice no, and not lunch box because uh, number one we saw the arcade machine in a uh, Vanny's Vanny's old hideaway and it had a sword through it so that indicates that um, yeah, I think that took care of a glitch trap. And number two, more importantly, the fact that we saw Freddy without a head. Because, as we know from that ending, um, Freddy got pretty much uh, torn apart by the uh, other servant bots on the advanced control, but... Yeah, we, uh... Gregory took his head with him. So yeah, this just pretty much confirms that, um... That the actual cannon ending to the game was um, was us uh, rescuing Vanessa and not us burning down uh, the old pizza place. 
Oh, Cassie, can you hear me? I finally have a clear signal. Gregory, I shut down all the security nodes. I'm in the Roxy party garage. Am I close? Almost. There's still one node left that's keeping the underground sealed. Where? Roxy's the final node. You need to deactivate her. What? But deactivate her and save me. Save me, Cassie, please. It's so dark down here. Okay, I don't know about you, but all that light sounded like a bunch of words just meshed together. I mean, you all heard it, didn't you? Okay, so we know that the cannon ending for security breach is us rescuing Vanessa from Glitch Trap, and Gregory is scraping with both her and Freddy's head. But if that's the case, why did Gregory come back to the pizzeria? Well, at least that's what we've started to think, because I'm pretty sure who we're talking to isn't Gregory. The way the words are being strung together like that, yeah, not quite as fluent. Barney Lock's box. Mm. So we at least do have one more entity that we have to worry about, and that is Headless Freddy. I think what happened is while Freddy's head is, has been taken away, the but it shouldn't be the virus because we destroyed it. What the heck? What's that all about? I don't know. So we need to deactivate Roxy. Not quite looking forward to that. God damn it, Gregory. God damn it. I'm dying to cry now. This is just all kinds of sad. Well done. That was the last security note. I've located the source of your friend's radio signal. It is coming from under the weight raceway. Yes, we kind of know that. Warning. You are now leaving the Vandy network coverage at zone. So it sounded like that Cassie doesn't really have that many friends. Or rather they didn't choose to attend a party. The last time she came here. And I guess that's 
the reason why the only friend she made was a uh, Gregory. But yeah, I'm just getting more convinced that this isn't Gregory. Whoever the heck this is, I got a lot of questions to answer for. Elevator. Straight down to the old pizza plex. She was the only friend she had. Oh, stop it, computer. I don't have the microphone next to the computer because it keeps making that whining noise because it's old. Oh, Jesus. Keep it up and I'll just unplug you all together. Never mind. starting to get Alice in Wonderland vibes here. I don't think we ever saw this section of the of the caves here. Whoa. Yeah, we never saw this section. Great. The mask doesn't work and the flashlight doesn't work. What else can go wrong? Ugh. I doubt there's anything we can find down here, but I might as well just look around anyway could light a flip and not. See what's still recording. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. What, is that a present? What the heck are they doing down here? And we've got a fast token. Yay! So all you're just getting is a fast token. There's another one here. Just another fast token. What the hell are these going to be used for? I'm not seeing any more. Fast token. Yeah, of course it is. This stinks. But it doesn't stink as much as losing rocks here. That was just sad. More than sad, that was just heart heartbreaking. We already have four of these things. We only found one of these then. I really need to come back to have a good look around here because I'm pretty sure I'm missing a whole lot of stuff. Wait, is that Candy Cadet? Uh, 
I am a candy cadet. Come get your candy here. I have candy all day. Every day. Candy. 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 Okay, for those of you who don't know, Candy Cadet was in uh, Final Fantasy Freddy 6. And basically what he does, if, if you were lucky enough, he will tell you a story, and the story actually relates to the lore of uh, Final Fantasy Freddy's. Press to you. Now I will tell you a story about a mother and a little boy who lived alone in a cabin in the dark woods. Okay. Uh, there was a monster in the woods. But the mother caught it and kept it locked in the basement. There was a monster in the woods. The monster always made scary noises at night. But the mother would tell the boy not to worry because it could never get out. Then she would sing the boy a lullaby to sleep. Okay. One day, the monster stopped growling and instead listened and learned the lullaby. And then learn the lullaby. Oh, we used the fast tokens! I think we can continue the story if we uh, find another one in them. Um, okay, uh, I couldn't find any back there. I'm gonna just quickly check down here. Oh, please tell me there's another one down here. Please, 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 please. please. What's the flashlight will work again? I see anything down here. Whoa. Why are there burners everywhere? It's like the inside of an oven. Is this the office from six? I'm gonna have to start getting back in playing for now. Fast looking. Let's hit back up. Up, 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 up. I don't know why I'm getting excited for this. But apparently the story goes that there was a monster that went to the Lords and a mother and a child who lived there as well. The mother trapped the monster, and no matter how much ground, the monster the mother was singing a song. The monster then started to learn that song. The next day when the mother went out to find food, the monster sang the lullaby from the basement. The little boy heard the lullaby and opened the door. door. <laughs> yeah, that normally signals that we heard everything. So the mon the mother was gone, and the monster lured the boy to the basement. Why is it starting, starting to sound like what's happening to us? That the monster was mimicking Gregory. Yeah, this definitely looks like the old building. The one that um, Burn Trap was in. Are we gonna see Burn Trap? Yeah, that's the ending with Burn Trap in the Blob. So I'm guessing those sh are showing that um, th that the other endings are not the canon one, and that this one is the canon ending. Even though the game was pretty much just a one-way track. Ooh. 
Wait, we got coverage? A backpack? Wait, is this Gregory's backpack? There's no indication that says it belongs to Gregory. I'm gonna have to look out for that video Dorco uh, posted to see if it is. What's this? Max's. Note here too. I guess we're gonna have to use this. There's someone the pour concrete over the door. We done that. Whoa! Gregory! Gregory! You okay? In we go. You saved me. You saved me. Gregory? I... I'm Gregory. What the heck? You're not Gregory. What are you? I... I'm Gregory. Cassie, can you hear me? Gregory, is that really you? I mean, really you. I, I can't move, I can't move. Right. I'm not at the pizza place. Something's trying to trick you. You're a bit late. This thing in the basement sounds just like you. How do I know this is you for real? Is there another option? You need to get out of there now! How? My friend has access to the building map. <clears throat> Just follow the instructions. We've been doing that one now. Uh, oh dear. Why didn't you start running? What in the world is that? Go, 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 go! Go right! Oh dear. Come on, charge, 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 charge! I know that, Gregory. I know that. Keep going. Go right, right. Uh. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Sprint, 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 sprint. Skeleton. Cassie, it's me. I think I need to explain a few things. You were never supposed to go to the pizza plex. That thing in the sinkhole tricked you. I really don't know what it is, but it's been trapped down here a really long time. The Mexis security program was designed to keep it hidden. Mixes. But you shut down the security. And now it's free. 
It's not your fault. I know you did it for me. To save me. But we can't risk being followed. I'm sorry. What? Gregory? No! What? Gregory, did you just... Did you just cut the cut the elevator with us? That <laughs> little bastard. Okay. Okay. What the heck? I got questions here. Lots of questions, but that's really the ending? Stop on still themselves. Yeah, great. Ugh, just skip this. I don't think we're gonna get anything else out of this. Cassie. What? What? Roxy? Okay, I got... I have got a ton of questions here. Like, what the flippin' heck? Uh, okay, so... Uh, uh, what I'm gonna do, guys, is... Uh, I'm gonna cut it here, and I'm gonna watch those uh, videos that Dorky put up because I am completely confused of what's going on. And if you want more information about that, I'm pretty sure you can find this video yourself, but uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> jeez Louise. Jeez, jeez, jeez Louise. Alrighty, people, I'm back and after a couple of hours of that, watching Dorky's videos, I uh, won't go into the whole spiel about everything, but if you want to find out more, I recommend looking up Dorco. He has the all you need to know about it, everything that's going on. Now, first and foremost, what we need to know about that animatronic we saw, it was called the Mimic. And as the name suggests, it copies everything. Including voices, uh, movements, everything. And apparently, after some events from its creator, it put, started copying the anger it was giving off and just started killing. So apparently, what happened is that after the ending where Gregory escaped with Vanessa and Freddy's head, they found out that uh, apparently something else was happening down in the pizza place. Something else was still down there. I can't remember exactly one, despite the fact that I just saw it. But apparently down there, they saw that the Mimic was trapped down there. And after all that digging, it got out again. And the reason for that is... Because apparently... The Mimic was actually the glitch trap virus from Help Wanted. Yeah. So it wasn't the memories of William Afton, it was the Mimic copying really after so that was a big spoiler so it pretty much was trying to get out and it had Vanny or Vanessa going around taking parts stealing kids doing all that just so it can help help it get out so it was pretty much on Vanny was under not really matters not ripped right? it was under the virus that it was cr created by the mimics of control And which is why in Princess Quest, it didn't look exactly like um, William Aston in a sense, but rather the mimic copying William Aston. And at the end of Princess Quest, when we destroyed the virus, that pretty much dealt a blow to um, the mimic, but it was still down there. It was still trying to get out. And it did. So what happened was, apparently Gregory and Vanessa went down there to find out about it and saw it and saw that it was dangerous so making a plan Gregory put in that hole that we found it in behind the concrete wall and uh he put in that walkie talkie of his and started to shout into her saying that I'm in here so yeah it was lured in there they dropped the cinder block concrete there and closed it off and then Vanessa pretty much set up Maxis to seal it down there so it can't get out. And Maxis is apparently that entity that had been chasing us, so it looks like it wasn't trying to trying to kill us or anything, it was just trying to keep us out. 
So yeah, because of its know-how of a uh, virtual reality, it pretty much you hijack the um, that help bot with a map bot and to give us the mask so we can actually go out to the ground to um, free it. So we were pretty much helping the mimic, not Gregory, since it was calling in his voice. Which, if you think about it, is completely crazy. Now the fact that Gregory dropped us, that was, ooh, that was just crazy. Like, I'm not sure what's going to happen, but there's a couple more enemies in the game too. I might get into them, I might not either. No, no, I don't think I can play anymore of this. Now, there was a couple more things I wanted to go over. Um, oh, yeah. Um, apparently, there was only a couple of times that the regal Gregory's voice came out. Because the rest of the time they were talking to Gregory, it was actually the mimic we were talking to. And this was due to the fact that people did some data mining and found lines that were targeted in a certain way. To say what's this Gregory and which was the mimic. And a lot of the times, it was always all the mimic. However, there were only a couple of times that it was Gregory himself. The first time was when um, Gregory, when uh, Roxy was looking for us the first time when she heard Cassie. And when Gregory called out, that was the real Gregory. The second time, other than uh, talking to us on the walkie talkie after pretty much just saying to confirm what we know about the mimic and the, the third time I should say is on the elevator that was actually Gregory talking to us before he cut the line so yeah like the fact is that I'm not sure why he did it one of the theories is that he probably did it because he wasn't sure whether or not it was Cassie down there which is a stupid thing but I don't know But what I do know is, Cassie is still alive, possibly, and so is Roxy. So what are we going to be getting? More DLC? Another sequel to the game? I don't know. But, yeah. We definitely now know which is the actual canon end in here, and a lot more about the lore. And then we got a whole new villain, which apparently they were building up to. because. At first, I thought it was just, oh, great, it's just William Afton coming back again. But no, it was such, just someone else copying William Afton. So, we have to so say, William Afton, the purple guy, has been dead ever since FNAF 6 and Ultimate Custom Night 2. While at the same time, the new villain started appearing and Help Wanted. And Steel War started things up. Pattern. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like William Afton is still dead in the ground and his soul is trapped in hell, facing internal torture, and now we've got a new villain, the Mimic. So I wonder how this is going to play out. I really want to look further into this, so I'm definitely going to be trying getting back into playing the other FNAF games. <sighs> I'd be more excited to do so. <laughs> Fuck the fate, I hate horror games. So that's going to have to do it for me, people. I'm sorry I ran on that long rant there, but I just wanted to clear some things up before I ended this series entirely. I may try to get back into playing uh, Security Breach again, and maybe do it Ruin again to get the other endings, but we'll see. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please do remember to hit that like button. But also, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and show support for the channel. I would very much appreciate that. Now, with that being said, I better head off. I'm afraid it's really starting to hurt, but that's because I've been talking too much. Figure all again, and I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Drive safety out there, people. Bye-bye. Take care. And have a good time. Ooh.